Hello and thank you for joining me today at Community Kitchens at Home Edition. My name is Pauline and welcome to my kitchen. Now before we begin, let's take 20 to 30 seconds and wash our hands with some warm water and soap. For the Caprese sandwich, you will need one medium tomato sliced, eight ounces of mozzarella cheese, four ciabatta buns or bread of your choice, balsamic glaze for drizzle, salt and pepper to taste. For the pea salad, you will need two cups of frozen peas, one pound of sugar snap peas, six ounces of snow peas, three green onions, a quarter cup of sesame seeds, two tablespoons of brown sugar, three tablespoons of soy sauce, two teaspoons of sesame oil, two cloves of garlic, one quarter cup of rice wine vinegar, one quarter cup of olive oil, one teaspoon of grated ginger, salt and pepper to taste. Before beginning, put a damp cloth underneath your cutting board to keep it from moving while we're working. We're going to start with our pea salad. Take your sugar snap peas and cut in half. Gather the snow peas together and simply cut them into long, thin strips. Next, take the green onion and remove the root end. Cut into four pieces, turn, and slice into long, thin strips. If you find it easier, you can use a pair of scissors to cut your onion. Next, remove the stems from your fresh herbs, as we don't want to use the stems since they can often be too tough to chew. We're going to gather them into a tight little bundle, roll, and slice thinly. Next, add in our frozen peas, and we're ready to make our salad dressing. Before you begin your salad dressing, add your sesame seeds to the top of your salad bowl. Now here's a pro tip. If you want to bring out the nutty flavor in the sesame seeds, put them into a non-stick frying pan and heat over medium heat until they start to toast. This will add an amazing flavor to your salad. Now for the dressing, combine all the dressing ingredients together in a bowl and whisk until combined. Make sure you give it a quick taste before you pour it on your salad to make sure it is seasoned to your liking. If you're happy with the flavor, pour over your salad and let set for approximately 20 to 30 minutes before eating. To assemble the sandwich, cut the bread in half lengthwise and add a thin layer of pesto. On top of the pesto, we're going to place our tomatoes, followed by salt and pepper to taste. On top of that, we're going to add our freshly cut mozzarella with a thin drizzle of the balsamic glaze. Now the balsamic glaze can be a little bit bitter, so we are going to make sure we're not going to add too much. Now at this point, you can either serve the sandwich as is with the salad, or you can put under the broiler and toast so that the bread gets nice and crispy and the cheese gets melted. To catch new episodes, make sure you go to Algoma Family Services Facebook page. And if you want to see some other episodes, head on over to YouTube, Algoma Family Services, and you can see lots there. Hope to see you next time.